The brain is the most complex organ of the human body. It has many functions like controlling other parts of the body, thinking, communication, understanding different situations and many more. The brain contains certain specialized cells which continuously pass messages to all the parts of the body. Now let's understand about these specialized cells and what are they called. The neuron. The neuron or the nerve cell is a functional unit of the brain. In the brain, many neurons are connected to each other and they continuously transmit the messages to all the parts of the body. Information runs between neurons in brain for every action or thinking we do. The neurons contain three main parts. First is the cell body or the perikaryon which contains the nucleus. Second is a short process called as the dendrites. Third is a long structure or process called as exon which ends at the nerve ending. The information is transmitted in the neuron through electrochemical impulses and it travels from dendrites to cell body, cell body to exon and exon to nerve ending. And from here, the impulse now enters another neuron. The fastest speed of message transfer between neurons is about 250 miles per hour. The neurons are present in the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. These three together makes the nervous system. The human brain contains approximately 100 billion neurons. The weight of the human brain is around 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms. Internally, the human brain is divided into two parts. The outer part is called as the cortex and the inner part is called as the medulla. The human brain contains numerous convolutions. Convolutions are the twist or the coils present on the cortex of the brain. The hill or the upper part of the convolutions are called as gyri or ridges and the depressions of the convolutions are called as the sulci or grooves. The convolution increases the surface area of the brain which leads to the accommodation of billions of neurons. It is believed that more the number of convolution more is the person said to be smart. The cortex of the brain contains of two parts, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Both this hemisphere has different functions. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the body. Hence all the functions of the left side of the body are controlled by the right hemisphere. It also deals with creativity, free thinking, intuition, and it visualizes more than thinking in words. The left hemisphere controls the right side of the body. Hence all the functions of the right side of the body is controlled by the left hemisphere. It deals with analytical, that is helps to plan different things. Logical, helps in numbers and science and it thinks in words. The left and the right hemisphere of the brain are connected to each other through a band of nerve fibers called as the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is a band of nerve fibers joining both the hemisphere. If we take the cut section of the brain, then one can easily find the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum connects the two halves of the brain and delivers the messages from one half of the brain to the other. Let's understand the parts of the brain. The brain is basically divided into three main parts. The first is the largest part of the brain called as the cerebrum. Second is called as cerebellum, also called as the little brain. And third is called as the brain stem. Now let's understand what are the functions of these parts. Cerebrum being the largest part of the brain has many functions. It deals with all voluntary functions which are controlled by ourselves like walking, eating, running. It deals with emotional control. 
it deals with personality learning problem solving language and speech vision hearing imagination creativity and music now let's understand the functions of cerebellum cerebellum deals with balancing coordination between different parts of the body and posture the brain stem deals with conducting the messages between brain and the rest of the body and it also controls all the involuntary functions which are not controlled by our self like heartbeat and breathing if you find my video informative please click the like button and subscribe to my channel